Welcome back to part 8 of my Charles the Bald game. In the previous part we pressed a war for the Kingdom of Bavaria, got that as a part of our empire now, and we finished up our second legend, mostly to get rid of the expense. Um, there's a lot of overlap here between them. They spread both quite a bit. Looks like Emir Khalid, for whatever reason, is trying to murder me, <laughs> just some evil old man. Uh, I'm not feeling well. Severe penalty to health. Okay. Good to know. We're now in poor health. I do have Know Thyself. I will get a warning before I die. It might actually be kind of quick here. We might have to disinherit some sons or something like that. We will see. Uh, I was planning on trying to do a Holy War for Kingdom. Hungary is definitely the bigger chunk of land. We don't even have enough right now. Uh, they're allied to each other is, is the issue here, really. Holy War for Kingdom of Bohemia. It's it's a really close war, and this guy's got a lot of cold, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, I think I might just do Denmark, actually. Swedish-Danish subjugation war. So we're going to have to fight maybe against Sweden in this, because he's kind of um, trying to take over everything here. Uh, yeah, we just need a little bit more piety, and then we can go and do that. Maybe I'll try uh, before this character passes away. So I'm going to go on a quick little pilgrimage to Cologne. Shouldn't take too long. Oh, we don't even have the gold to do a pilgrimage. What if I reduce the cost? <laughs> still still not enough. Okay, we got to save up a little bit then. It's fine. Uh, so she's about to finish, and then we'll raise our other son. Okay, so that's him. Uh, we can make him Seneschal if we don't have one, which I think we don't. There we go. You enjoy that job. You're good at it. No land for you. She's about to finish her education. When is it? October. Okay. And then they'll get married. Hopefully start having some kids. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. If I had any amount of gold right now, I'd be all over this stuff. Legendary Dagger. Uh, we just can't afford it right now, though. 225. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Boom. Having High Marshal sometimes will pay off. Uh, okay, so let's get that pilgrimage going. Just a quick one. Cheap as possible. Uh, I think we just go like this. Reduce the cost even more. I think we just need 600 piety, so we just need a tiny bit. Who knows what's going to happen to this character, though. That's a really powerful um, negative health effect. The severe penalty, not feeling well. 909. Yeah. <laughs> Do we make the Reich's crown even better? Does it work? Does it just keep putting on anything here? Wow, that's a lot of benefits. <laughs> okay, it's kind of cool, I guess. Nice, powerful crown for the emperor. I don't even know why this guy's trying to kill me. Like, he has a positive opinion of me. <laughs> he just doesn't like me. Paranoid, cynical, and stubborn. He's just an angry old man. Brooding sycophant, Emir Khalid. <laughs> He's not even close to me. So ridiculous. <laughs> Just trying to murder the Emperor for no reason. Okay, so we wouldn't mind maybe having this guy take the vows too. Um, he's going martial education. We could always have him join a holy, uh, whatever it's called, holy order. But we'd have to wait for him to be an adult to do that. Uh, yeah, humble's good either way. Honest is also good, but humble is fine, so we don't have to take the stress hit or anything like that. And there she goes. So we are married now, our son and her. Heading back from our pilgrimage, raising our son, me and him. 
We can put our wife in charge. Oh, she's already raising two. Okay. Well, she'll be down in a couple years. Honest and diligent. Not bad. Not bad. Good job. Oh, something happened here. Um, nice. Good, good, good. Close. Close. Yeah, he's the wrong religion. Is that a decent sized one? Eh, it's kind of small, but still better than nothing. He doesn't really like us at all. Let's start swaying him. Nitra. Yeah, that's a decent sized one. The Balaton is the one that we really want, though. What's his problem? I think it's just because we're not, um, yeah. He just wants us to be tribal. Actually, let's sway him first, then. I don't really want to give these guys gifts because, um, we just don't have much gold to spare. So how's this war going between them? He is going to lose that. Um, so the war will be come against the Kingdom of Sweden if he wins this in time. But we can just raise up right here and start taking the land over, get work done on it. Uh, so we have enough Holy War for Denmark. His army is decimated, but it's more Sweden's army that we're going to have to worry about anyways. Uh, I'm worried about this character's health, and as much as I'd rather have Hungary, I think that we just go for it on this character while we have the time. Uh, so now how are we doing? Uh, minus 3, minus 10, minus 16, minus 21, minus 22, minus 27. Oh my god, that's a lot. That's really bad. Is my army that big? Oh my god. Improvident as well we have. Court amenities. Yeah, I, I, need, to, I need to cut costs here. This is too much. Uh, we're just going to have to move down a little bit here. Stop the bleed here a little bit. Um, minus 15 now. It's more reasonable. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, is there any, like, reduces cost here? I don't think so. Yeah. Peacemaker might help us uh, if we can get there in time. Church holdings. Does he like me? Yeah, plus 100. Well, we're doing what we can. Um, these buildings are going to finish and give us at least a little bit more income. I don't think I'm going to go for his capital. It's really unfortunately placed over in Sweden, I guess, even though he's Denmark. I don't know why his capital's not over here. Shouldn't it be? Yeah, it should be like right here. Copenhagen? Oh, please give me gold, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Desperately needed that. No, we're not starting the legend. You're not getting me with that again. Get out of here. Is it near the capital? No. Okay, I think we're fine. What are you doing? He wants to come and fight. My goal is still the same. So now we're fighting against Sweden. It's fine. Where's his capital? Yeah, Stockholm, okay. Three, two, one. And just keep sieging the war target until we get something done here. Okay. No, we're not spending gold right now. So there's still some hostile armies around. I'm not sure where his army is exactly. It shows him as being in the capital. This guy's actually a genius too. Anyone good here? Yeah, you. How's this going? Perfect. Balaton. That's nice. Keep it coming. Nitra. Not sure what his problem is. Well, minus 100? You kidding me? I guess it's because I have so much of his duchy. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, promote a legend. Start a legend. What's the difference in promoting someone else's legend? World legends. I assume that there's like a reason to do this. Start promoting. You're going to gain some of these benefits, I guess. Uh, I don't really feel the need to do that. 
is such a like bright shiny notification that I just want to click it and I want to do it, but I have to resist. I guess we just keep heading up the coast here until we see his army somewhere. There he is. Okay. So who are you, Palabia? Yeah, I'm gonna take the payment. Um, probably not gonna go to war with him on this character anyways. I think I'm just gonna go and fight him, actually. It's probably gonna give me war, more war score than just continuing the siege. So he might take the vows. Uh, I think Zealous is def definitely the best. Zealous and humble. There's no way he won't uh, join a holy order once he's 16, I believe. Uh, or, or at the very least, just take the vows. That's crazy. I guess my army's starving. Oh my god, are you actually running away? Dude, I hate you. And then you have an ally here as well. Let's just go all the way back and then he's gonna start sieging again. It's really annoying how they do this. Um, can always get an alliance with our daughter here. King of Alba. You know what? Come here. He's not too far away. He's going to come right over. He's not in a war or anything like that. Oh, he is. No, no, no. He just joined mine. Okay. <laughs> Apprehend them immediately. I don't see these events sometimes because I'm not usually in this lifestyle. 80% uh, chance we get... Or 88%. Yeah. I'll take the higher percent. Thank you. There we go. So we can at least end this at 90 instead of 100 now. 9k troops, that's a lot, man. Holy. He might come and just fight me. Like, I'm 100% sure that he's going to be stronger with me because these damn Swedes make their um, unique men at arms so, so much more powerful than everyone else in the game. Oh, Skarls, yeah, he's got 900 of them. He's, this guy's going to mop the floor with me if we fight him with even numbers. I'm not even sure that Scotland being here is going to, like, save us. Uh, what other kind of alliance can we get? My vassal and knight. That's not really what we want. Uh, this guy hates my guts, but is still willing to ally with me. It's kind of interesting. I'm not sure the alliance by itself is going to make him like us enough, though, to just become our vassal. It does increase the likelihood if you're allied with them, but it, not, not to that degree. He's at minus 100. Hopefully we can just get the job done here. Uh, I might just have to white piece this though, honestly. Or we can just try to go for his capital, maybe? Okay. <laughs> Pay me gold to spread your legend. Um, I, I do plan to get this, but I'm just going to wait. I don't want to spend this and then maybe have to disinherit someone and, and can't do it. What now? <gasps> That's really close by. What is it? Holy Roman boils. Let's isolate the capital. Okay, so we just finished getting this. Is he in his capital? No, he's with the army. Oh, this is so annoying. How do we have such little war score? His heir is so far away. Damn. He is in another war. Oh, his heir is declaring war on him. Okay. Maybe I just go for his capital? I don't know. I'm I don't think I can win this war anymore. It's kinda sad. Not that it's particularly important. Um just getting Denmark. It's kinda whatever. I just wanted to get the war done before this character dies since he is in poor health and we can get a warning at any moment that he's gonna die. We are just Spending so much. He's got such a map. What is all this coming from, dude? Good god. He's allied with Kazaria. They have 9k troops here. You have nothing better to do than to just screw me out of Denmark? Bro. What are you doing here? Oops. I need a new one now. Okay, you're young and decent at it. Enjoy. Uh, so maybe we can just get the war done here. Oh god. Okay. Um, 
Scotland just didn't come with me and then got fought by these a billion troops here. Um, so yeah, this is probably going to be over. I might, I might even have to pay him. Yeah, we can't even white piece it now. Um, if I can get enough war score from taking his capital to white piece it, then I'm almost certainly just going to do that. Twenty one. Yeah, we have to white piece it. I'm not winning this war. He's got too many troops. Really annoying. Really, really annoying. I declare war on Denmark. He loses before I can get it done, and then this guy is allied to just some random 9k troop across the world from me. I, I might have been able to find a way to do it, but it would just take too much time and too much effort for just not even so significant of a kingdom. It's three duchies. I would be sad if I couldn't take Hungary, but that one is just whatever. I'll let it go. Okay, so... We kind of want him to take the vows, and he got zealous. That's perfect. My player heir still has not had a kid. I guess they've only been married for two years, uh, and she's gay, so he might be having difficulty there. Um, but we do kind of want them to have a kid before I have both of my other sons take the vows. Could be uh, kind of bad. Kind of want to kill his daughter, his granddaughter. No, no, no. Let's not do it. Let's not do it. <laughs> Just stress myself out. We'll, we'll convert her though. Take that, you heathen. Oh, we can just usurp his title now. Take that. Now, he's pissed that I did that. Will this work? Sixty-eight. Come on, you gotta join me now. Oh, minus two. Okay. Am I swaying him? Okay, okay, okay. So we'll give this to you. There you go. He kind of doesn't... Okay, there we go, there we go. Perfect. Oh, this actually broke up. Bohemia. Palabia. And Poland. I'm assuming their father died and he had all those kingdom titles. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Uh, so they're still all Slovianskin. Okay, we finally finished Gallant. I don't think I need to be here any longer. Um, we can't switch yet, though, so I guess we have to get one more thing. Uh, this would have been nice before I was declaring all those more expensive wars. It's kind of useless now. I guess I can just go, like, strict organization or something like that. How much longer? 906? Yeah, it's probably worth it to just get another unlock anyway. So, he'll take the vows with the hook, or maybe we can have him join the Holy Order. I want to see what it's like. Uh, this one costs 100 legitimacy, so let's see if having him join the Holy Order has the same effect. Because I don't have them join Holy Orders very often, it's kind of rare. You need to, number one, have a Holy Order, you need to have them in a military lifestyle, and then you have to let them become an adult first, so it's kind of like, you don't always have those things going for you. Uh, especially if you're not putting your children into martial education, uh, like I am not doing so very often. So I just want to see if it if there's any legitimacy effect here once he becomes an adult, four more years. This guy will probably have to take the vows. Uh, but again, I don't want to leave myself with just one heir. Oh, perfect, here we go. Two months pregnant. So we can probably spend our prestige now, or excuse me, our renown safely. It should be okay. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, so we pick which one we want to be more common. I'm assuming you're still going to have to put them into this education type to make it work. Uh, I'm going to go for this one, since I'm more often than not putting my children into stewardship. Uh, learning would also not be too bad. But I think we just go for this. Do you et mon droid? I don't know what this means. So we finished up legitimacy anyway. Um, don't know 
we'll do next. Maybe just start putting points in here since it's the other new one. I did do a lot of legend stuff and I didn't even really go for the legend uh, tree. <laughs> Maybe I should have done that one instead. Uh, but legitimacy seems really important. It seems like it's uh, a horrible penalty to not have enough legitimacy. Oh, you beat me? Okay. Uh, whereas our legitimacy is pretty damn good here on this character. And it really seems like the new funerals are um, really good for gaining legitimacy. Like your old feasts and hunts and pilgrimages and stuff like that, they're not going to be completely updated to have like a bunch of legitimacy rewards. So doing the new funeral one seems to be the one to do. Like it says there's legitimacy here, but I, I don't know. I, I haven't really seen much legitimacy coming from them. Uh, whereas the funeral gives you a lot of legitimacy events. Okay, so we're praying for nothing to go wrong here. Oh god, we're not paying that. Uh, so potentially this kid could have two inheritable traits. Ooh, she got a good education too. Okay. I would love a son with both of their traits, but I'm not going to complain as long as they have a kid. <laughs> It'll make my life easier. Uh, we'll see what we get here. Orangard. Okay, she got quick. It's not too bad. Um, getting more children and more grandchildren is always just a little bit better. Uh, this guy will take the vows, no problem. We're still going to lose legitimacy from it, but I think I'll just get him out of, out of the way right now. And then it's just our second son, really. He's not going to get much. Duchy of Bar? Why do I even have that? Um, I guess I could just give that away. He's still going to get something, though. Uh, we're going to try to get him on line of succession regardless, though, I think. How does this look now? Yeah, now he's just going to get three of the counties. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, we do have enough. Do I usurp this? Do I piss the Pope off? It's a new guy. I should have done it on the old one first. Uh, Frisia, Croatia, we can make another empire title, Greater Moravia, Lotharingia, West Frank. I, sh I should probably get this back, hey? This is like my home kingdom title. I'm not sure why it gets destroyed when I made the HRE, but let's get that back. I feel like you need to have your home kingdom title still, even if you're an emperor. It just feels wrong not to. I could give this away. He's got the land anyway. Uh, what am I doing? Grant title. Kingdom of Brittany. There you go. Enjoy that. Behave yourself. Uh, so yeah, we got one duchy, one kingdom, one empire, and a bunch of counties. Kind of makes sense. We still have this pressed claim on the Byzantine Empire. You know... Why can't I declare it? Oh, I still have an alliance with him, isn't that it? No, I don't. Anyways, it'll, it'll pass on to our kids, so maybe I'll end up uh, trying to press the claim there. That would actually be kind of interesting, because we could do the uh, Dismantle the Greek Pretenders. Uh, wouldn't mind that. So, we want this guy to be chaste, not lustful, if we're going to have him take the uh, vows or whatever it is. I just feel so far behind in this game, in terms of like piety and in terms of income. Uh, I guess I need to keep doing these... Yeah, this one doesn't even give me that much. I'm just going to keep pouring my gold into some gold buildings. Nothing much else to do here. Uh, I guess I could reform this too. We're almost at 4k, which will give us a lot more options. Is there anything I want here? Garden Architects is actually not too bad. The gardener, um, royal gardener, no, what is it called? Court gardener, court position, gives quite a bit of development growth. It's actually not too terrible. Family business. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. It's cheap. We can get it under, underway now. Not have to worry about it.
What do we got here? Keep at it, kid. Uh, okay, so our daughter is of age now. Pretty nice traits, but not great stats overall. Is there anyone that we want an alliance with? My cousin and vassal. Hey. So I don't think that we can get him as a vassal. We're not actually touching his land, and he doesn't control enough of this anyways. He's just got the one claim. My vassal, the Duke of Brabant. Or this guy. I guess we can just do an internal alliance. Yeah, let's just marry her to this random Duke, whatever. Give her something to do. There you go. So yeah, we're just going to let this guy finish. Become 16. We... I mean, I assume he's going to join the Holy Order. I, with these traits, it would be really weird if he didn't. Uh, I just want to see if it costs legitimacy or not. Just for science's sake, we can figure it out. Uh, I haven't actually looked at the election for a while. I, I'm assuming that they're going to vote my son in. Yeah, seems like it. I guess I don't need to change anymore. He already took the vows. He can be sadistic now. Yeah, sure. Zealous villain. Manassas. It was always a bad seed, wasn't he? Oh, we got Whiffy. Uh, this is a really exp expensive one. Um, I just spent all my gold. I might take this, actually. Attraction opinion. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, as a guy, we're not even trying to have kids anyway. I wouldn't usually do that, but I'm just so broke on this character. I'm surprised I haven't had my warning yet. Like, we've had this severe health penalty for a while. 909, it should be almost gone. I feel like I'm going to get a warning soon that I'm going to die. It just, it's just it been sitting there for so long. Uh, yeah, I'm not even doing this, so we might as well just take this, just in case. And then... I don't really want the health benefit, so I'm not going to take that. Uh, I think I'm, I'm just ready to become my son at this point anyway. I guess we can start stressing our character out to help it along. Um, we're forgiving, so getting hooks, I guess. Uh, what am I doing here? Yeah, we have none. Okay, so let's just go and look for secrets, and then we will get hooks with them, which is going to cause us a lot of stress. I, just and forgiving both will stress you for getting a hook, so I believe that we should be able to stress ourselves out quite easily on this character. Okay, no, I, I gotta stop spending money on this stuff. Fifteen. Um, when's your birthday? Third of January. Okay, so you just had a birthday. One more year. I want them to keep having kids. That's that's imperative here. You never know when a plague is just going to blow through here and just kill half your ch children. She was a damn good wife for us. What are you doing? 225? Good God. Okay. I'll go into a little bit of debt here. What are you doing? I kind of want the stress, though. But she's going to raise up and fight me, which I don't really want to do. Okay, so let's just drop the stress now. I guess we don't need to pardon her. Um, but before we start getting some crazy stress here, I'll just do that. 32 stress for a hook. It's not too bad. We should be able to get one like every few months or so. No! Yeah, I'm gonna have to pay that. <laughs> I, I, I don't wanna keep spending gold, it's just too much. Are you kidding me? The, the nerve of this guy. 
Duke Hemming the Lecher. <laughs> Not giving me my hook. I should get the stress from it anyway. I mean, I am blackmailing him. Oh, I guess I could have turned him away. I don't really like to do that, though. I'll take the benefit. Um, but yeah, I think that we, we do want to say goodbye to our character. Become our son. He's 26. He's married. He's having kids already. No, no need to keep playing this character. Uh, we can start getting our level of devotion up so we can do a Holy War for Kingdom on the next character. What are you doing all the time? Gains legitimacy. Interesting. So if you just let them out, you gain legitimacy. Uh, I don't think we need it on this character, though, so I'll take the gold instead. Who keeps converting this? Oh, he is Muslim, that's why. Okay. How's this going? Need more secrets available. Isolate capital, what now? Okay, it's not, not actually that close to us. Barony of Girona, okay, that's down here. What's, uh, oh, you're not actually finding anything. There has to be more secrets than that. Oh, okay, you died. Great job on that. There you go, get to work. I need some secrets. I need to stress my character out. Um, I can just switch, like, obviously I, I would rather him be Gregarious, but I can just switch for the sake of stress right now. Uh, lustful. This is a not, not a very good monk right, right here. Uh, so he's my friend. Asked to join Holy Order. I still do lose the legitimacy. Okay, good to know. He gains a love of devotion. He joins the order. Uh, okay. You are going to the Knights Templar, my son. Okay, so everything should be good here now. Uh, the only one that we are worried about is this, but there is overwhelming support for him to be the next emperor anyways. So he will be getting all of our titles. Good to know. Um, sometimes these guys at Joan Holy Orders, they'll just like come back to your court and be like, hey, surprise, I'm back. Uh, so you do have to kind of watch out for them. It's not quite the same as becoming a monk. They, they will sometimes lose this Holy Order thing. I wouldn't mind another pregnancy here. That would be really nice. Oh, she's ill. Oh, no, no, no. You failed on the treatment on yourself. That's not good. Uh, well, I definitely don't want that. Scientific is always good. I think I might just go for this, actually. I don't want my people to get ill. Okay, here we go. 32 stress, finally. So we keep the stress, and then we stress ourselves out even more. 60%, come on. There we go. Even more. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Yeah, we'll just leave that there. Okay, there's no way we're not feeling fine. What? Oh, we lost the other health penalty, that's why. Okay, good to know. <laughs> the guy that was trying to murder me. I, I, I don't know how this is going to work out. Um, like, we'll be able to continue to stress ourselves out, and that will do the job by itself after a little while. But not having that that uh, health penalty anymore. I think it does have a long-term effect on your character, though. I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to take any stress drop options. <laughs> just keep trying to stress myself out. If we can hit the third uh, break limit or whatever it's called, sometimes you just die or you can abdicate. And either of those options would be totally fine.
What are you doing? There's another one. There we go. It's treason then. What is this? Oh god. 88% chance he escapes, and they all join this rebellion, so no, this is not really what we want. <laughs> Become rivals. 51% we don't, 50% we don't. Okay. That's it, I abdicate. I guess we just go for this, right? All claims against our title become pressed. That's not really what we want. Um, but I think this is a better option than just continuing to play this character. We're completely ready to take over. I, I would rather him die than abdicate, but you know what, I, I think that we'll just take it here. A hard time getting a word in after he makes up his mind. A bullheaded man. I guess it's just because we're stubborn. Um, we actually, like, I mean, we're still pretty young in the game here, I guess. It's, what, 44 years right there? Um, yeah, Emperor Louis II now. Long live the Emperor, yes indeed. Uh, so our father has abdicated. We are now Holy Roman Emperor. We've inherited all of his former titles. Uh, we're going to have to have more kids, that's that's for sure. Um, but I'm going to be continuing this on in the next part, hopefully expand a little bit more before we call it quits on this game, um, maybe find some more new stuff to do. Um, definitely going to try to remember to have a funeral for my father. Oh, I guess he's not dead yet, but whenever he does that, we'll have a funeral for him. Uh, university visit, yeah, we'll see. Thank you for watching this, though. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe and leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.